Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another episode inside of the Terraria Calamity mod. And we're actually starting this episode in a bright new day. Um, this is very, very different from what I normally do. Normally it's like nighttime, yay! And I'm gonna start this video off the same way I started the last one. I'm just gonna say, if you guys are enjoying the Calamity playthrough, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which will be linked down in the uh, description. That is where I will be continuing my Terraria playthroughs. I'm going to finish this one off on this channel, however, um, if you want to see future Terraria content, you're going to want to subscribe to that channel, because I will no longer be doing it on my main channel. So, yeah, definitely go subscribe to that, but also subscribe to this one for the time being, so you don't miss a new Terraria episode. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way, we have some upgrades to make, because we are currently about to fight the Moon Lord. Um, well, not like right now, but I mean like, we have two bosses. One boss, and then we fight the Moon Lord. Uh, technically two bosses, but this Ashram Auras boss is so freaking ridiculously hard, it's not even funny. So there are already upgrades that I'm pretty sure I can make. For example, the True Biome Blade is a ridiculously good sword. Oh no, what? Uh, I think I think I need to do the Ashram Auras weird thing fight thingy before I can even do anything here. Um, Ashram Deus, that's what it was. Okay, but let me see here. I know I have a... Uh, some, some things I can make here. I can make the Daybreak for sure, I think. Okay, we'll make the Daybreak because this is something that the wiki recommends. So we'll throw that in there. I, I made the Solar Eruption off camera just so I could do the uh, the pillars easier. And the Solar Eruption isn't anything new. So hopefully you guys aren't going to be too mad about that. But let me uh, let me pull up the, the Solar Fragments right here. And we'll see what... I can make with these because there's there's just a whole lot that I can make so we need to see what exactly that is here so we made the daybreak and solar eruption now there's the this this harvester the baleful harvester I can make I can make that that's way later actually the grand guardian I believe I can make right now I'm pretty sure and this is actually something that's recommended so I'm probably gonna make that yeah let's just make that right now so I need to make the majestic guard first the Grand Guardian. Yes. Cool. Okay. We made one sword already. Nice. Okay. Um, and then I think that might be it. Um, I mean, I can definitely make more, but I don't know if I should. Mm, what is that? Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, that's post-dude. That's also post-dude. Yeah, I love how specific that is. Okay. Um... I think for now, this will be good. I'm just going to go with what I have. Okay, there is one more accessory I can make, which is called the Absorber. Um, that's a very, very good accessory, which just makes me take a lot less damage. However, what I want to do really quickly is uh, just test these weapons out. Uh, that's not the right weapon. What's the... Is it the Hunter Potion that I need? Um, hunter Potion. Just so I can find the Jellyfish, because the Jellyfish are the, uh, the last things that I need to make the absorber but yeah let's just test out these weapons so the grand guardian let's see how much damage per second that does a lot wow okay what is it does it do anything special lowest enemy defense by one with every strike if an enemy's defense is, is zero or below your attacks will heal you wow striking enemy enemies cards is a large, ex large explosion um okay cool so yeah this sword seems pretty good and then the daybreak of course just, uh, it's just basically a lance that sticks and does damage, which is pretty good. And then, of course, the solar eruption is just this thing, which is a really, really, really good amount of damage. Looks like the daybreak actually now explodes when you kill something, which makes it do a lot more damage, which is pretty good. Um, I don't think this dude is selling anything important. Maybe I'll buy the marrow just in case, because the marrow, I think, is actually pretty hard to get. Um... But yeah, man, look at look at how good the daybreak's actually really good. Holy cow! And then this sword is just ridiculously OP. But I'm here for that blue jellyfish right there. Can you give me the the mana jelly right away? No, of course not. Oh, I got it. Nice, cool. That didn't take that long at all. Nice. That's the Zerg potion. Really, really good for that. Okay, so we'll throw that that in there. And I think that now I can make the. Gel grand gelatin, yes. Now that should be all I need to make the absorber, but we know nothing <laughs> nothing ever goes my way. Okay. Wait, did I never do that one clam boss? Oh my gosh, I don't think I ever did that one clam boss. Hold up. 
Oh my gosh, I don't... I haven't been down there in so long, holy cow. Alright, giant clam has spawned. Hopefully we'll be able to take this boss down nice and quick. Uh, looks like it is... Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please just die. Oh my gosh, it's gonna kill me, dude. It's gonna kill me. Why is this thing so good? No! I don't know which weapon... Oh my gosh. Let's just use solar. Okay, yeah, solar... <laughs> Uh, solar eruption is that the name of it that's definitely the way to go solar eruption okay i just need to make sure okay so i think i got everything there cool hopefully i hopefully i didn't leave anything we'll find out later if i did what am i missing luminel oh my gosh okay fine another cut okay so i think the abyss can be pretty dang confusing and weird so I just thought I'd like cut back in and kind of like maybe explain it to you guys. So basically like the abyss, there's like uh, there's like certain tiers to it. And uh, th like depending on the tiers, certain enemies will spawn, certain ores will generate. Um, so you're supposed to like visit certain tiers throughout the playthrough. However, I'm very confused as to, like what those certain times are. Um, but at a certain tier, Luminel actually spawns in to be mined, so I don't have to farm enemies, which, that took me a really, really long time. Like, I think, oh my gosh, no, this is not good, this is not good. <sighs> See, then that happens, dude. The, the, the abyss just makes me mad. I don't like it at all. Okay, guys, so I did, off camera, get this one sword from Duke Fishron called Briny Baron. Um, it seems like it's pretty good because it looks like it spawns in a tornado on hit, which can be pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like- Oh, you can do right click. Oh, okay, I understand why this weapon is so good now. Because it also has a second attack like this. I'm assuming that those don't home in, um, but they might home in. So, yeah, uh, there's one more weapon I can make right now before I fight, uh, that one- giant space worm dude and it is called the entropic claymore so let's see here entropic claymore okay why can't i not make it um i don't have wait oh i need to make the meld construct okay so meld i'm pretty sure i can just craft that though oh wait no oh yes i can okay cool just just making sure okay i always get confused here okay so now i can make the the thingy the entropic blade thingy okay cool so i'll craft this and i'll just kind of like see how it's what it's like without reforges i guess first just because why not um oh so it looks like it shoots out a thingy oh it shoots out three of them okay so that's interesting ah okay is that fires the spread of homing oh they're homing okay so i'm gonna reforge this because this might be good for the fight and everything is so freaking expensive now. 73 gold, are you kidding me? Okay, and I think I should have all the things I need to spawn this boss in. So we'll just get everything ready and we'll give this fight a go. Okay, so basically to summon this boss in, I should just left click this. Oh, I can only do it at night. Okay, I don't know why I got a photosynthesis potion then. But I can't even use it. Okay, so now... I just have to wait for this boss to spawn in. I'll take care of all these enemies around here while I wait. And there we go. We are off. I I cannot remember what this fight is supposed to be like at all. Um, however, this, this worm is huge, bro. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of lasers. Okay. Uh, this probably isn't the best weapon to use. I'm just kind of using it. Let me let me try uh, this weapon and see what happens. Oh yeah, this is definitely doing a lot more damage. Um it was doing oh we almost we already got adrenaline nice cool uh i gotta watch those lasers man and i probably should go over here more where i can actually like use all my platforms okay so far this fight has not been that bad however there's no way it's going to stay this easy at all there's just no way um there's there is a lot of lasers though <laughs> holy cow um yeah i feel like i don't know which weapon would be the best here this this one's working out pretty dang good um, however, I don't know what happened to all my DP. How did I manage to dodge all that? That's crazy. Okay, let's uh, maybe go back to the daybreak here. Where's the boss at? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll use the daybreak because I feel like the daybreak... Oh, the daybreak is doing like... Oh, the daybreak's doing so... Oh, wait, I have adrenaline. That's why. <laughs> I was going to say the daybreak is doing way more damage. However, it's still doing a lot of damage even though I'm not... I don't have adrenaline. 
Okay, so now looks like it's shooting something else. Okay, it's those ball thingies. Which basically just makes the arena a little bit harder to nab. Let me through here. Oh my gosh, I actually just did that. Holy cow. Oh no, I thought it was going to be... There's two of them! Okay. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this boss fight used to be ridiculously hard. I think. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah, because there were two of them and it was ridiculously hard. Okay, I think I know what's going to screw me over. That asphalt bridge. If, if those were just regular platforms, I'd probably like definitely easily be able to do this. But since they're not regular platforms... Ah! Oh my gosh, I don't know how I just did that. I, I just dodged everything. Now I'm going to get a pretty good amount of adrenaline in. Nice. Okay. We'll use, we'll use it again. I think I just have to kill these two. And uh, we, we'll be good. I've barely taken any damage though. So you know what? I'm just going to do a cut until, until something important happens. Um, because right now I, I think I'm going to be good. And I want to concentrate just to make sure I get this fight done. Okay, boss is getting low now. Attacks are getting really crazy. But I literally almost got it. Okay, I think I got him. I think they both die. I think. I don't know. Yeah, nothing too important really happened. The attacks just started to get more and more crazy. Um, oh, yo, that yo-yo looks sick. Okay, looks like we got a ton of weapons. Oh, the, the height of Astrum Day is taking damage or inflicting a true melee strike drops an immense amount of astral stars from the sky. I need to get out of this biome here. Let's let's go back to uh, home here. Um, taking damage to boost trailing ma damage by 50%. Okay, basically, I need this, especially for melee. Um, I'm probably going to go with this. 10% um, increase to all damage. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know which accessories to go with. I think for now, I'm just going to do that and see what happens. I don't think I'm going to use the yo-yo, though, just because it's really not recommended. And um, I, I just can't use, like, the yo-yo bag. Even though that looks sick, um, I'm just probably not going to use it. But, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. I actually did work a lot more on my trophy display area. And now we can put another trophy in there. Nice. Look at look at how cool this is looking. I guess those aren't actually trophies. I can't even remember what they're called, though. So, nice. Um, I guess now I can mine those astral bars. I'm pretty sure. By the way, guys, if you're wondering what I used... I used uh, the Void of Extinction instead of the Hide of Ashram Deus. And then he used Warding Angel Treads. Warding on all my accessories. Angel Treads, uh, Fire Gauntlet, uh, Va uh, Asgard, oh my gosh, Asgard's Valor, Duke Fisher on Wings, uh, Master Ninja Gear, and Celestial Shell. And then he used Beetle Armor with the Beetle Shell. Then I used the Daybreak to do damage and the Vampire Knives to heal me because uh, I did end up needing to heal a lot. Uh, so yeah, that was all the gear that I used. Uh, those Vampire Knives, definitely, definitely good to have. Okay, so can I mine these? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. I'm going to get a lot of Astral Ore now. Alright, hopefully uh, this should definitely be enough to craft the sword. Um... How many did I get? 408. Oh my gosh, this should definitely be enough to craft the true biome blade. So let's make astral bars now. Astral bars, cool. We'll craft literally just as many as I can. 113, nice. And now the true biome blade should be available. Yes. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, guys, I just reforged the biome blade and got the attunements that I think I want. Um, That's not the biome blade. So the first one is not attuned anymore okay well if i attune it here uh here is one of the attunements it's just like that swinging sword thing and essentially if you guys don't know how to attune the biome blade you have to go to a specific biome you can look up which biomes you want with the attunements on the wiki and then you stand on flat ground hold down right click and then it attunes it so yeah i want these chain ones and then also i can have this one so i'm assuming this is going to do like a lot of dps which hopefully it does. Um, yes, this is where my testing things are. Okay, so let's uh, let's go with this first. Let's see how much damage per second this does. Um, oh yeah, that's a pretty good amount of damage. And then looks like I can even control like where a blade is. Interesting. Okay, I can control where certain blades shoot out. So that's pretty good. And then the other attunement is this chain one, which. Uh, 
Looks like... Okay, it does a pretty good amount of damage. Um, let me see here. Uh, what the other one does. Um, lash out with the Fury of Change Blade. Striking enemies with the tip of the blade guarantees a critical hit. Critical strike sends out an extra phantom chains. Okay. And then this one does hold the attack button to swing around you. Okay, yeah, we, we, we get that. Okay, cool. So, these are all the weapons that I have now. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to make at the moment. Um, however, I do kind of want to see if the astral bars make anything of importance. Um, that may melee... Oh, the day effect amulet. I'm pretty sure this is good. Ooh. Oh, I want that, but look at me, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll use that post Moon Lord. Uh, because... The thing is, I don't have extra accessory slots. Like, I am out of accessory slots. So I just, like, don't know what to use. Oh, the Astral Blade. <gasps> Wait, the Astral Blade might be the last sword I need to make. But I don't... Oh, I can craft it. Okay, so the Astral Blade is recommended. So I should probably make it. Um, but other than that, I think I've made everything. Okay, that's post Moon Lord. Uh, that's post Moon Lord. Uh, I don't think the astral armor... Oh, maybe I need to make the astral armor, too. Um, let me see here. No, beetle armor is what's recommended. Okay, so, we'll make the astral sword. Um, should be able to make that, in theory. Uh, astral blade, okay. Um, I guess we'll make that. It says, deals more damage the more life an enemy has left. Okay, so that seems like it'd be pretty good. I really just don't know... What sorts to use? I have so many. Oh my gosh! Uh, luckily, though, we'll have a we'll have a lot of options when fighting the Moon Lord. So we'll uh, get legendary on this. I've spent so much freaking money on uh, reforges today. However, we've also made a lot of money too, so that's good. So let's uh, let's make this celestial sigil thing. Hopefully, I can make that. I no I don't actually know if I can celestial sigil. Nice. Cool, we'll, we'll make this, and we'll summon the Moon Lord in and give this a go. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to beat it in this episode. I might save it for its own episode, just depending on how long this is. But, yeah, we'll see. I don't know why I just bought two Cadence Potions, okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to buff up. Hopefully, I don't waste any buffs doing this, because I'm pretty sure last time I did this, uh, the dude just spawned in right away. So, we're going to give this a go. Yeah, yep, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Okay, so we're going to go probably with this thing for now. And uh, just try and do some damage here. Uh, we're going to dodge the lasers when he shoots them at me, which should be soon. Soon. I don't know why I said soon. Okay, and I'm assuming that eye is going to be open. Okay, yep. Fly up here. Do some damage to the eye. And then we'll go this way. And try not to take any damage there. Nice. We're doing pretty good so far. We're gonna get adrenaline. I want to try and save that adrenaline for when that eye opens, though. And I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it. Nice. Okay. So those lasers are gonna come at me. And I put myself into a bad spot here. However, I was still able to do a lot of freaking damage. Nice. Okay. This fight is going very, very smoothly so far. I don't know which which uh, thing would actually be better here. I think that this sword is probably gonna be the best. Uh, that that thing is open now. Yep, I put myself into a bad spot again. Okay, I, I deserve that. I deserve all the damage I just took there. That was very, very bad. Okay, I need to stop doing damage to this eye and do the damage to the other eye and also to the top eye. Uh, okay, that's not good. I'm not going to have adrenaline now. Um, so let's just try and stay here. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. We'll go this way. We'll do some damage to this eye. No, I'm taking dumb hits, dude. I'm taking easily avoidable hits. Oh, uh, this is not good. Okay, we'll do some damage to this eye. We don't want to get that other eye out. Uh, last playthrough, I just kind of, like, uh, winged the Mood Lord fight and, like, knocked all the eyes out at once, which was probably not a good strategy. Never nevertheless, I did it. That eye is going to go down soon, which is not exactly good. Huh. I'm not, not entirely sure what to shoo. Not entirely sure what to do here. I'm just going to go this way for a little bit and not do any damage. Build... No! No! I was gonna say build up my adrenaline, but that didn't go too well. Oh crap, this eye's open. Okay. I'm gonna just try it and do damage to that eye. Now I need to do damage to this eye for sure. Uh, luckily, it seems like the Mood Lord was kind of nerfed.
from the last playthrough because if you guys remember the last playthrough, uh, when you got hit, you got like a really, really bad debuff, which uh, did a ton of freaking damage, dude. Give me some damage. No, 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 no. Ooh, that could have been bad. Okay, we have adrenaline. We need to save that for the eye, though, for that eye up top. So hopefully should be soon here. Okay, open up. There he is. Go 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 Oh yeah, that was a lot of damage. That was Oh no Ugh I just broke my mic. I'm sorry. Apparently it's really, really loud right now. Whoops. Um that's probably my fault. Okay. Uh that's not good. That's not good. That that probably just cost me the fight right there. Come on. Activate! Activate you dumb laser. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's uh, let's get these eyes into play. Actually, let's uh, let's do some healing for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut back when I've healed some. I just remembered. I I don't think you can heal during the moon. <gasps> you can't heal during. You can't heal during the moonlight fight. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I I am so dead. I am so dead right now. Oh no, I forgot. You can't heal during the moon lord fight. Uh oh, this isn't good. I got adrenaline though. That's good at least. Activate. There we go. There we go. Can I get that eye out? Please. Please. No. I almost got it. Okay. Oh, I knocked one eye out though. I don't know which eye it was. This isn't good. I almost got that eye up up top. Oh my gosh. I think I just knocked it out. I think that this, this actually is working. We're actually about it. I think we just got all three eyes out at once. Oh, that's very, very good. Okay. I'm still missing an eye, I think, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing one right there. Whoa! No way! The eyes stay in? So I have to avoid that head laser still? Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I need to stop going far away because then he just spawns in on top of me, which is not what I want. Maybe I should do this. Uh, maybe I should use this weapon. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, head laser, head laser, head laser. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what weapons to use. Uh, clearly, I am not prepared for this fight. He just spawned in on top of me. I'm gonna get adrenaline though, I think. We'll use this until I get adrenaline. Uh, come on. Yes, we got adrenaline. We got adrenaline. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so much damage, so much damage. Okay, we're, we're halfway done, I think. Except I don't like that the core is halfway dead, but you are not. Oh, now it is. Okay, interesting. So if you guys remember also in the last playthrough, what happened was I didn't even need to get it all the way down. He just kind of like, okay, let's, go, let's do this. Go down here. Okay, now the laser should activate way down here, hypothetically. No, why did you have to teleport right then? Not good. Luckily, I did not get hit by that laser. Holy cow. Okay. This sword has definitely been good. Definitely, definitely been good. Okay, even though it's probably not the best for damage, I don't care. I need to be newbie and use a homing weapon. Okay, we got the laser, but that's fine. I'm definitely in a good spot for the laser. Okay, we'll circle back around and keep going this way, because I'm way close to the end of the world here. Um, okay, I think I'm finally getting a grip on myself. Go. Adrenaline, go. Go, Adrenaline, go. Go. Oh my gosh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. I think it said 40,000 HP. I think. Hopefully it wasn't 400,000. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, 30,000. Okay, it's thousands. There's no way I've done 100,000 damage. We're doing good, bro. Down to 20, 28,000. Oh, I'm taking damage here. I need to actually fo focus on dodging. How did I manage to dodge that? Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I am just comforting myself. I am comforting myself right now. What are we at? 12,000. Oh my gosh. I might actually beat this. I haven't taken a hit in a while. Okay, we're at the end of the track here. If the eye opens up, dude, I might... Okay, we're good. I was going to say I might be dead, but I think we're fine right now. Okay. I did it! I did it. Let's go, dude. I can't believe I actually just did that on the fly with no practice. Last time, the Moon Lord was so hard. But it looks like they've changed it quite a bit. Nice, dude. Okay. Epic. So what do we get? Oh, we got the Star Wrath. And it's annoying. We got the Terrarian. Heck yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put some stuff in, in here. Uh, because, yeah. 
Um, so we'll throw all, all my potions in here because looks like I got a freaking butt ton of stuff here. So, yeah, nice. So I will probably need to do this again. Aww, why am I getting credits right now? I don't know why I'm getting credits because, uh, because this is not the end of the playthrough. Okay. Alright, well, um, I guess, I don't know what to do now. I guess, uh, I guess I'll just end the episode here, and next episode, we are gonna make some amazing upgrades now that we are, uh, beat, now that we've beat Moon Lord, because as you guys can see here, there's still so many bosses to get through. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys come to the next episode. Make sure to subscribe when notifications on to not only this channel, but to my second channel. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Yo guys, so I now have a merch store. I'm going to keep this nice and short while also showcasing some of the merch in the background. So basically, I plan to make a lot more videos in the future where I'm giving out more money. I want to be the next Mr. Beast. Okay, I'll just say that. I know I'm not him yet, but I'm working with what I got. So if you guys want to support the channel while also looking good, while also wanting me to make better videos, then definitely go check out the merch store. Even just feedback is appreciated. We got a lot of different clothes. We got Mint Gaming logo stuff. We got stickers, phone cases, mouse pads, all different kinds of shirts with my regular logo. And then we even have some funnier shirts, which are just kind of memes and then also like representing your state in a funny way. So, yeah, go check it out.